Hey, this is Asu and welcome to my Death Must Die guide where I'll show you some good god combinations. In every run you're limited to three different gods plus the Sisters of Fate, which means you need to be selective about what gods you pick. The combinations shown in this video work well without a lot of gear and if you know about them you're in for a good time when starting a run. Another good starting tip is to pick up and use any gear which gives you alteration dice since it allows you to choose freely which gods you want for the upcoming run, removing at least part of the RNG. Time and Chrom. This combination is the easiest to get since you only need two gods and it's a very simple powerhouse for wave clearing, especially early on. Time's attack uh, modifier, warped attack and gem high gives you good mobility when you pick up experience shards and Chrom's chains allows you to simply spin around and kill pretty much everything. It does leave you vulnerable when gem high runs out and it's got a weak spot for single target damage. As your third god there are several picks which can compensate for those weaknesses and I personally like Mort or Winter for improved damage and survivability. Legong and Time. This combination requires only two gods and works well with Summer and Winter as the third. It's a bit slow early on but becomes very powerful in the late game. Once again you want Time's Warped Strike and Gem High for good mobility and extra experience. From Legong you want Ball of Lightning as your dash modifier, Haste for higher movement speed and Lightning Bolt which will be your main damage ability. The idea for this build is to blitz around the map with all the movement speed increasing abilities and destroy your enemies with lightning bolts since it procs based on distance moved. This build is not weak at any point of the run but grows increasingly stronger. Uh, later on pick up Time's Alteration Ritual, maybe at around the 10 to 12 minute mark to start receiving random buffs which will help you through the remainder of the run. Mort, Time and Lady Justice. This is the strongest build I've found and it works very well for the no damage achievement. It can be slow at the start of the run, but it's insanely strong, both mid and late game. Warp Strike and Gem High are just too good to skip, so you'll get both of them. After this you want Mort's Ravens of Pestilence and Mort's Execution, which spawn additional experience shards upon killing enemies. Mayhem is also important to pick up as soon as it becomes available for better scaling. Upon getting your first summon, the Ravens of Pestilence, you'll be eligible for the Summoner perk, which further increases the build scaling potential. Get it as early as possible. Weaved into all of these damage skills, you want Lady Justice Celestial Wings for free movement and Divine Shield to protect yourself from hits. Once you have this quite demanding list of abilities, you'll be set to kill the Baron at any difficulty level. This build is perfect if you wish to go for the no damage achievement, which is called Ghost Matter. I hope this guide has helped you. Please like and subscribe if you wish to see more content. Regards, from Aswoo.